Ladies and gentlemen, hi, it's me. What's going on? Halo 2 modding, let's go. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, how wrong you are. While it would be a lot of fun to work on some Halo 2 mods, it's actually, for once, in Halo 3. What in the world is that noise? Is there a reason my game sound is making scary sounds? Looking smexy. It's getting there, all right? One step at a time, I am taking this Halo 2 asset stuff, remixing it with a little bit of Halo 3 assets, and uh, I still have yet to give it the full treatment, but it's, it's actually looking not too bad. Um, it definitely needs some more love, it definitely needs some smoothing out and stuff. The title is not real and a lie, I simply cannot believe it, it's true. I lied to you, Andrew. This is not my smallest, worst Halo mod ever. This is in fact my biggest, most amazing, and possibly most epic Halo mod ever. Watch out, there's a kaiju behind you. <laughs> well, what's that thing they always say in really bad movies? <laughs> it's standing right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. It's right behind me, isn't it? <laughs> have you finished the Space Battles mod? It's been a while. No, I have not worked on any of my Reach mods in quite some time. I am still in my Halo 3 uh, Sigma grind set because that's exactly what it is because Halo 3 is objectively the best Halo game and if you have a different opinion than me, you're wrong and I can tell you that you're wrong because I'm right. So that's how you know. But also, I would like to work on Reach stuff soon. But I just have this really fun project that I've been... I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just... It's basically like the equivalent of my Godzilla mod that I was making in Reach. Where, like, Godzilla is like, bah, bah, bah. And he's, like, breaking stuff and buildings are going everywhere. But it's Halo 3 and it's with a scarab. And I think that's pretty cool. You really get to experience what it would have been like to be a sad little useless scared marine. Doing useless, sad little scared things on the ground while a scarab is going... Wow. <laughs> This would go hard at night with the scarab all lit up. I actually agree with that. That would be pretty dope. I just really want to be underneath like the scarab while it's just blowing shit up. You know, one thing I really want to do is I want to give the scarab like idle sounds. You know what I mean? Like you can hear it above me just going wow, wow, wow. But like what the scarab should be able to roar. You know what I mean? The scarab should definitely have some roar capabilities. People should be able to look at the scarab and be like, do the roar. And the scarab's just like, like some War of the Worlds type stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. I and mean, look how much space there's going to be in the city, dude. You're going to be able to like walk around these streets. The scarab's going to be like towering over you. Boom! Buildings are going to be falling. Like this shit's going to go crazy. Sorry, let me. I'm just sipping. Give me a second here. Uh, what's with you and making giant mechs roar? Skaboodle, you gotta know, like, how cool it is to make a scarab roar. Like, Halo 3 has scarab roar sound effects in it, right? Like, uh, here, you know what? Hold on, first of all, I look a little bit insane today. Do I look too insane? I think I'm good. I think it's a good day today. Um, no, scarabs should definitely make cool, scary roar mech sounds. I, I genuinely think that they should have that. Um, let me pull up, actually, <laughs> actually, let me pull up the Halo 3 sound files, and I want to, like, let you guys hear some of the Scarab sounds that are in the game, because I genuinely think it would be really cool if you're, like, in this mod, right, and you're just, like, running around, you're going through, like, this alleyway, the Scarab is, like, coming near you, your, your screen is shaking as it's stomping, and you just hear, or, like, I don't know, not like a literal War of the Worlds horn, where it's like, wow, but, like, did, yeah, I'll, you'll hear this. You'll know the sound when you hear it. Let me pull it up. All right. Let me, let me get the... Let's get the sound... Halo 3 sound thingy open. What are we listening to? What is this noise? We're listening to the Prey soundtrack again, which actually does go pretty hard. I, I cannot lie. I right, want to listen to some Earth City. It's it's on brand. Okay, um, let me open up my sound injector real fast. Um, this will let me play all, like, the Halo 3 sounds, which... Is this okay? That's Halo Reach. Okay, give me give me one second. Hold on. Halo Three. SFX. All right, here we go. So, one of the I want to play some of these Scarab Roars, and I want to see if I can't make like a really like ominous remix of one of these. I think I could. I think I really could. 
I gotta think, I, we need to like break down the Scarab's Roar to its component parts. Right? Um, okay, here is... Scarab Fire. Alright, here we have three Scarab Roars. Scarab Roar 1. Scarab Roar 2. Scarab Roar 3. But these are like sounds you hear when you're beating the Scarab up. We need like distant ones. Here's um Scarab Shield of Death. Okay, that's not a Scarab Roar Distant. I like this one. Listen to this. Like that's a really cool sound, dude. But like it's just kind of crunchy and small. Scarab Ambience? What is this? Hold on, this is an interesting sound. Oh, you know what this is? This is assembly. That's what it is. This is the assembly DLC sounds. Yeah, okay, but like this, this is what I want to hear. But like, what is that? Like, can I, I want to break that down to its like component parts so I can make my own Scarab sounds for this mod. Because I think it would be really cool to be like hearing that as I'm going around doing stuff, right? Like you're looking up, you hear like, doom, doom, and then you hear this. But like, what is that noise that it's making? Sounds like a distant beam discharge. A little bit, yeah, actually, like, wait, let me play the Scarab Fire In. Or no, Scarab Charge. That's exactly what it is. You're actually so right. It is literally the Scarab Charge sound. But, like, pitched down and slowed down. You're absolutely right. That's literally what it is. Yeah, you you actually nailed that. I did not even I did not notice that. You absolutely nailed that. But it does kind of sound like a roar. But th that's the only other sound I can think of for the scarab. Because like when, when I'm looking at these sounds right now, I want to find something else. Like I could take theoretically, I could do the same thing, right? Here, let me let me bust out audacity. I could take these. I'm gonna grab all these scarab sounds, like the scarab roars. All right, I'm gonna extract these. Do a nice little quick convert. Uh, we'll do Scrab Roar. That's going to be the uh, actual uh, thingy thing here. All right, I want to drag these into Audacity. And maybe the same way that Bungie did that, where they pitch down like the charging up sound and slow down the charging up sound. Halo Wars 2 Roar? Yeah, but you're thinking of the Banished Scare, which I still do want to do one day. But also, like, that's going to be a lot. Okay, hold on. Let's turn the volume up a little. Okay, you guys can kind of hear. I'll turn it up a little more. Hi, Weasel. Hi, kitty cat. Looking cute today, kitty. All right, but right this, but we do uh, change speed and pitch. Right, we'll do speed multiplier 0. 0.5. That's. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually pretty fucking scary sounding. Like, listen to that. It actually does sound like a pretty scary roar. I'm not even gonna lie. All I did was like change the speed to half, and I it's pretty scary. Like I'm not even gonna lie. I actually I don't know if it's like fitting necessarily, but ah, I don't know. Like I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn to be honest. Like it does sound scaraby. Maybe if I like turn it to like 0.75. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hear me out, hear me out. What if I do the speed of 0.5, but I pitch it up, I pitch it like back up. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Semitones, one. Uh, let's do like four semitones. <laughs> That ain't it. That ain't it. Maybe one semitone? I just don't think- I think the, the the pitch change, pitch shift and audacity, is just really bad. I don't think I should be using audacity for this. 
This is okay, though. Okay, okay. Let's, hypothetically, like, there's one, right? We got one roar. Let's try the another roar, which is, we have this. You know, we could... But, you know, I think Skaboodly was right earlier. He said that's literally just, like, a sound of it walking. But there's also a roar in there. But I do hear some, like, walking mechanical sounds in there. But let's see. Let's change the, the speed and pitch to 0.5. Maybe, like, distantly, it can make these deeper, scarier sounds, and then as you get closer... It can, like, roar that way. Should Halo 2 Scarab use the Halo 2 charging sound? It uses the Halo 2 charging sound. Uh, unfortunately, it was using the Halo 3 charging sound for a long time. But yeah, now it... Oh, I, are you gonna say maybe I should take the Halo 2 charging sound? Halo 2 walking sound. Actually, the Halo 2 and Halo 3 Scarab walking sounds are the same. Funnily enough. Uh, how will this sound play out in game? Is it only going to play during idling? Um, I can definitely... I can do two, two things. I can make it, one, play randomly, just on like a timer. Or two, I can actually make it a dialogue thing, like when it spots you. And play it like any other NPC dialogue. Any possibility of adding the Colossus from Halo Wars 2? I'd like to one day. Uh, I actually have a project where I was slowly piecing it together. I just haven't worked on it in a while. So, um, one day, most likely, yeah. I do kind of like these pitched sounds. They're they're pretty nice. I have Metal Gear in the brain lately because my friend has all been doing playthrough. Metal Gear versus Scarab. I feel like Metal Gear would win because they're just so much more agile. The Scarab is like big and bulky and bleh, you know? It's not like... Yeah, Scarab would definitely lose. <laughs> it like for sure, unquestionably would lose. Okay, so I think making some improvements to the Scarab will be good. I want to make it so when the Scarab stomps as well, and I might do this today, we'll see. But I want to make it so when the Scarab stomps on the ground, what happens is... It has like dynamic footsteps because right now if I like if I stomp around in the scarab It just does that you know, it's like the generic halo 3 dust particle Happens and it's not like very cool At least I don't think it is Wait that that I had to admit that pose it was just in was really badass. Let me let me see that again. Yeah, I, I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna in a second. I'm gonna get the first building to be destructible, which I'm really excited about. Why doesn't that scarab roar doesn't have that charging bird chirping sound? I don't know, but I could do that. I definitely could do that, dude. Is it? I, I don't know about you guys. And this is such a small detail, but for me. Making the toes, I know you guys are gonna make some weird fucking toe jokes again, but making like the little, the pointy toe bits of the Scarab Angular really like enhanced its uh, like posture and menacing aura. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like those sharp angles on this thing were really needed. It was like all smoothed out before and in, in desperate need of some sharp angles. And I just didn't have them for the longest time. It's aggressive. It is. It's a very aggressive shape. It's very cool. Um, hold on. There's one thing I need to do. I should have done this a long time ago. I don't know why I haven't done it. But the scarab itself, I don't know if you guys were paying attention to the fact that it just got like really dark very suddenly. But uh, yeah, that should be... Model uses... Air probe lighting. Where is that? Extension of parent. Search light maps on failure. There's a little flag you can tick on stuff. called like uses air probe lighting and it I don't know if I have the option on the scarab actually maybe it's in the model tag hold on might be in the model tag uh or not oh here it is model uses skylighting or no air probe light? I think I should use skylighting I think if I do if it uses skylighting it will never go dark even when it steps into a shadowy area Let's see, if I turn this way and I walk.
Yeah, now see, it's not getting dark when it walks over the shadow areas, which is pretty cool. That's so ominous, though. Like, this thing just, like, walking through the city. This is gonna be actually scary. Like, hold on, let's see if, let's get a quick perspective. Before I get, like, crazy into deep work on doing, like, buildings and destruction and giant dust effects and things with the buildings breaking, I want to walk the scarab over the top of this building just to get, like, a perspective of, of what this mod is going to look and feel like. Dude, this is actually going to be scary. Like, I know that it's weird and, like, a little bit clipping in, but, like, this is the size of the streets of Old Mombasa, you know? They're pretty thin, everything's pretty condensed. This thing's leg, bro. It's, you know what it is? I'm so used to being on, like, giant empty maps that I've been making for so long that having a much more condensed and to scale mission or level like this one is really putting into perspective just how large these scarabs actually are, which is so scary. Make the scarab dance. That would be pretty... I, listen, I, I could Fortnite dance. I could give the scarab a Fortnite dance. I'm not saying I couldn't, all right? It complexes me, perplexes, I assume. Anyone on Scarab? Survive the orbit drop? Um, it's just science, you know, anti-gravity. They figured out anti-gravity. How do you think you can walk around inside those ships? Hmm? Anti-gravity. No inertia. Can't have inertia if you want to survive a slip space jump. It's a sci-fi term known as inertial dampening. It is a very... You don't lose inertia, but you dampen it to near zero value so that you can get away with ludicrous accelerations. Alright. Let's make this building cool! Yeah, uh, you added the Falcata missiles? No, I haven't yet. But I can work on the Falcata now that I upgraded all my, my blender add-ons and stuff. That was actually the reason it was uh, throwing out errors. But we'll get there. We'll get there. What's important to me right now is this. I want to make a destroyed version of this building, alright? So hear me out. Hear me out here. Actually, I'm gonna hear out Jank first with their four months of membership. Thank you very much, Jank. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. He said, do you have your chat on top or all messages? I'm on all messages. Yeah, I'm just really bad at reading messages right now. Don't, don't at me. <laughs> Oh yeah, right, before I get into it, I, I should probably should mention, like, yeah, uh, I do have the basis set up for how I'm going to do alleyways and building placements and stuff, because, as you guys probably know, if you were here yesterday, I'm going to be filling this entire area with buildings. Buildings generally of this size. There will be some larger buildings, um, but generally everything is going to be smaller, old Mombasa, houses, and um, industrial buildings. And I'm just going to have the Scarab kind of, like, break through everything. And it's gonna it's gonna fill this entire area, but obviously since they're gonna be destructible, they need to be placed as individual objects. So I need to do a prototype for destruction. Halo Two turf assets, yeah. Halo Two turf, the Halo Two Vista map district, and of course the old Mombasa campaign map outskirts. So let's make destruction. If you guys want to know how do video games do destruction, well, I'm gonna show you the really cursed way to do it. All right, the very very cursed way. I'm going to make a new folder in here. This one's going to be for buildings. And we're going to we're going to make this one building 01. All right, I'm legitimately going to delete everything on here except for building 1. It's all going. It's going away. I don't care anymore. It's all it's all dead. All we're left with now is this. In fact, we actually don't even want the ground piece. I just want the building. This is all this is all I care about now. This is it. Um, so if I just join all of these together. Actually, wait, do I want to do that yet? Yeah, I do want to do that. If I join all of these together, right? Now I have, how many triangles? Dude, this building is so optimized. It's like 700 triangles. I can put like 100 gazillion of these. It doesn't even, I can make this have so much more detail in it. It like literally doesn't matter. Anyway, we'll do building 01. All right, um, which is fine. And I think that should be okay. I'm gonna give this a prefix. I'm gonna call it H, uh, no, what do I wanna call it? Scare? I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Um, but yeah, so here's our building. Let me get rid of all these and that. 
I'm gonna make a collision model literally out of this, which is gonna be really cursed. I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna acknowledge that it's gonna be cursed making a collision model just out of the, you know. And then I'm gonna make a physics model temporarily. Wait, don't you need to separate each wall face to make it destructible? Yeah, I'm not going into that level of destruction. It's gonna be like one level of destruction per building where it just kind of, boom, explodes. Um, for now. All right, so I just wanna get this in game and start doing some testing with it before I get really detailed with it because trust me, I will be getting very, very detailed with certain parts of this. But until then, I need a basic version of this to prototype with. Which actually is going to be more interesting than you think. So watch this. I'm going to make a uh, an armature. And I'm going to parent all of these to this armature. And uh, it's going to have one bone in it. And I'm going to call it building. Just building. And... I think this does need to actually be parented to the armature. Nah, it's probably fine. Anyway, so we have our building. Now, because I made it an armature and stuff, I can, in fact, add a uh, arrowed, empty arrow object. And you know what? Let me move this these buildings back. Armature should be there. Building should be over here. Let's line it up. Let's get it, like, nice and centered for the most part. All right, cool. I get what you mean. I get the detail oriented to this too. I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's good though. It's good to want to be like, I don't, I don't know if I would say a perfectionist, but like, it's good. All right, we're going to try FX uh, dust. This is how I'm going to start. This is how I'm going to start with this. By making a little FX marker for dust, and then I can parent that to the building bone, right? And when this building gets destroyed, when the scarab like comes over and fucks everything up, okay, this marker right here, uh, this X area, this direction of X, is going to be where a large plume of dust comes out. And I'm gonna want multiple markers for this, inevitably. But if I move this to like the center point of the building like that, and I move it up here. Now here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this building, the, the visuals of this building, and I'm going to set this to a new halo region. I'm going to call it base building. Right, so this is just when the building is healthy, the scarab has not stepped on it or blasted it with its laser yet, and that's that. everything's assigned to that. In fact, I'm going to do that for, for all these here. That was building 01. We're close enough. But yeah, we assign everything to that on, on all the physics, the collision, everything, so then it's good. But then what I can do, perfection gives a, uh, perfectionism gets a bad rep sometimes. In small doses, it's fine. I actually, I wholeheartedly agree. But check this out. Here we have building 01 destroyed, right? I can hide all this other stuff. What I want to do now is, this is a temporary model, okay? I'll make a better model, but I just want to see that this works. I'm going to take a... Let's do like a cube. Yeah, yeah, we'll do we'll do a cube. Okay, scale it up nice and big, like that. Covers up the whole house, and I'm gonna subdivide the ever living shit out of it. That's fine. That's that's probably more than enough. Okay, and then now that I gave it like a bunch of loop cuts, so it's like really detailed. What I can do is I can generate a or no deform displacement. But then I can make a new displacement texture type. And the texture type will be new generated. What am I doing? Displace texture, texture, image removie. Oh, here, clouds. Okay, so I, basically, I'm distorting the fuck out of this. And I want to get it kind of some like a little bit smooth, you know, like I want this destroyed, but I don't want it to be like crazy amounts, right? So that's kind of a cool shape, right? So what if I cut into this building with this shape? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I uh, go here. I will make a generate a boolean 
I'm gonna boolean on this cube. I'm gonna move the cube back a little, maybe scale it up a little so it just covers it better because that is not really covering everything it needs to. But I think that covers everything there, right? So now the building, pretty destroyed. Like, if I if I apply this to the building, watch this, boom, hide that. The building is dead. It's fucking gone, dude. This is what happens when the scarab steps on a building. Obviously, I can do better than this. That was just like a really quick and dirty way of doing it. But like for the most part, that's actually not too bad. It's actually not bad. That's a that's a decent way. Some of the debris just plop. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll cook a little more. You know, this isn't version final everything. Um, yeah, it's all right. And then all this shutter related stuff, I'm actually going to set that as this material. And then unwrap that. And that's fine. That, that'll look kind of debris-esque. And whatever. There you go. So now what I can do is give it a new region. I'm going to call it uh, Destroyed Building 01. And now building 01 has like two damage states, okay? It has a destroyed state and it has a happy state, <laughs> I guess that's the way to put it. So now that I've put those together, what I can do is throw this in game as an object and I'll be able to be like, hey, Scarab steps on it, building breaks and dies. And the FX dust marker in here that I placed down earlier can make badass dust effects go everywhere. And then if I want to, I can get more detailed and I can place more like FX stuff like one in the wall and then that makes like chunks of concrete come spraying out and stuff i can get really detailed with this is the point that i'm trying to make here and it'll be a lot of fun so let's try putting this in game should work right off the bat so we'll do building zero one halo three cool cool and then i'm just gonna put this in its own special folder so buildings look at this don't you love windows 11 look why is this here how do i i'm clicking i'm clicking i'm clicking it's still here I have to click in, dude, Windows 11, suck my schmeat and my schnutz. Why does that happen? That's so annoying. I hate Windows 11. All right, we'll do objects, levels, custom, War of Mombasa. And then we got our first building, which is building zero one. All right, so we can slap all those thingies in there and we can just start importing stuff like straight out. Roy off rip. There is one thing I do want to do, right? Before, before I do anything else, I have a bunch of materials that I'm using in the map, on the actual like map in game here, but I also want to use these materials like on the objects that are going to go in the map. So I'm going to do something a little tricky. Uh, I'm going, oh, I didn't mean to press that button. My bad. I'm going to do something a little tricky, which is setting up a new shortcut in the shader names, shader collections here which this file is referenced anytime you import a shader. So what I'm gonna do, scroll way down here, the ODST stuff, I've added a bunch of stuff in here and I'm gonna add even more. So I'm gonna do my own list. Your mom, nice. And then it's gonna, I'm gonna call this uh, scrab Scrab, that's it. That's just exactly what I'm going to call it. And then we're going to go the directory that this is located, which is levels custom war of Mombasa. And then in there is a shaders folder. So now if I put scrab in blender, where is it? In blender here under like broken concrete and concrete two and stuff on my building because those are located there. Now, when I export this, the game will be like, hey, do we have a, a scrab type shader? And the game's gonna be like, yes, in fact, there is a scrab type shader. I'm glad you asked. So, you know, we're good. So now let me export this again, but this time with scrab type shaders, and we'll be good. This man is unstoppable, you're so right. I'm just truly a force to be reckoned with. Do not tussle with me, okay? Watch yourself. Objects, levels, custom. War of Mombasa, building zero one. Uh, final. Look at that! No missing shaders. Do you see any red text? No. 
Uh, what is this? Base building has collision flags, which are not valid with this kind of model. Uh, is not collidable, but has flags. Makes sense on collision geometry. Oh, okay, I see. It's using map type material. All right, okay, that's fine. Who cares? Shouldn't cause any issues. The game is just letting me know that. Just in case I didn't know. <laughs> but I do, of course. <laughs> okay, open edges on the collision model. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. You can suck my schnuts. Don't care. And the physics model is probably cursed, but it auto convex holds it on import, so we're fine. I just found a minute long video on how to destroy anything in Blender. Uh, I don't want to link. No, it's probably just using the shatter modifier if I had to guess. I know of many ways to destroy things, but I refuse to make a thousand pieces of debris for each building, okay? That's so much work. You realize I have to import every individual piece of debris as its own individual object, and there is no way to automate that process? Not in Halo 3, anyway? I'd rather die, to be honest with you, than go through all that work. Really, that sounds awful. So, so horrible. And I, I appreciate it, don't get me wrong. I do appreciate the level of enthusiasm. If I were a less lazy, more driven man, I would add in every single piece of debris. But I ain't Inferno Plus, okay? I'm just me. And I want simple destruction. So that way I can make more variety of buildings, which makes the map feel more full, which makes everything feel better. Imagine a small random object able to destroy a building like the Phantom on Reach and Forest Forge. Yeah, that would be, that'd be kind of, see the thing is, if I had a team of people and I could just be like, you, uh, make the destruction for this building, you make the destruction for this building, you make the destruction for this building, I could have like 40 buildings with full detailed destruction done in like a week, but I'm just me, alright, I'm just me, and when the stream ends, I go to edit videos, I don't, <laughs> I don't have all the time in the world, unfortunately. It just do be like that sometimes. Alright, now I'm going to hook up the building, and then when I throw this in the game, we will have our full-on, fully featured, destructible Halo 2 slash Halo 3 style building. Alright, so we'll open it up. Throw all this in here. Actually, I just need a bulk import it. Hold on. Yes, please bulk import. Thank you. Very cool. All right, now we open the physics model, and I do need to set this to a fixed type physics model. Actually, very important, otherwise it'll go flying off into the space. And then those are fine for now. I don't want to touch that. I do need to add damage info, though. I do need to do that. I need to give it health. And I'll set up the variance for it. So we have default variant with the region building 01. And by default, it has the base region, but it also has a state known as destroyed which then puts it into the destroyed state, and boom, now this thing is able to be uh, destroyed, but in order to give it health and values, I'm just gonna add this, give it a global direct name. Let's do a uh, hard terrain, hard terrain stone. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that for every, actually the metal roof, let's do hard metal thin. And then, like, the concrete can be, like, hard terrain stone. Wait, this is for the collision model. The collision model should just be, like, all one. All one type. Let's just make it all stone. Conk 2. There we go. This will simplify it. Okay, fine, I'll bulk import it to update the model. God damn it, I hate that I have to update it this way. Rejected 360 Shotgun Studios. Wait, um, though it still left me unexplained why the Phantom and AA gun on Forge can easily destroy it like that. I'm confused. You're like talking about something that I don't really have the context for, to be honest. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. Hard terrain concrete. Okay, we'll put that in there. All right, now let's uh, let's give this thing the concrete material name, and then 
whatever, who cares? Maximum vitality. We'll just set it to 10 for a second. That way we can know whether it, it breaks or not. And then we do a damage section real quick. Name building. Um, this takes full damage when object dies. Uh, vitality percentage one, so 100% of its health is controlled here. And then finally, we do an instant response where it uh, kills the object. Actually, we don't do that. We'll just have it get destroyed. We'll switch its um, region of building zero one to destroyed. That should just work now. All right, let's throw this in here. Let's see what it's like. So we'll add a new crate. This is, for for the record, this is a prototype, all right? You know, this is not like super awesomely perfect. Yeah, these, these objects are gonna end up being like four buildings all in one. Oh dear God, why does it look like that? What's going on with the shading? Do you need help? Are you okay? Um, here's what we'll do. We're gonna go to the model. We're gonna not do that. We're gonna do linear two bounces. Save that and re-import the fuck out of that. Oh god, it was so ugly. I look better. Marginally, maybe. Ugh. What is going on here? You like pitch black areas? You should definitely look different. Why do you look like that? Did I do that? Did I fuck this up? How did I fuck this up? Let's go back in here for a second. Uh, let's make sure that this thing is not looking so ugly. Okay, all the vertices are merged, we'll shade flat. And I think we can just call it a day on that one to be totally real. I should probably do the same thing here though, clear custom normals, shade flat. Well, I can do that. Um, yeah, it's fine. We can shade flat on that. And then... Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so now we can re-export. Hopefully the shading there has uh, kind of fixed it a little bit. That was a little bit cursed. This looks lit. Just joined. Yeah, we're doing the destructible building prototype right now to see just like how feasible this actually ends up being. So I'm just hoping for the best right now. Hopefully it looks decent. Okay, that really didn't change anything. <laughs> okay, very cool. Uh, we'll do three bounces. Oh, let's do direct light only on quadratic though. Let's see if that makes it look any nicer. No, it just ends up making it darker. We can do linear two bounces again. Throw that in there. I was just hoping it would have a deeper bit of shading to it to kind of match closer to the shadows of the map, but I suppose I could try getting these objects themselves to be scenery maybe to bake in their lighting. But all right, let's see. Does, did I set up the collision right? I don't think I did actually, hold on. We'll set up the collision and if it goes into a destroyed state, then we're cooking. Nice, dude. Our temporary test of the thing having health and destruction states is already off to a promising start. Do the hair fluff, you're so right. Targaryen, you're so right. I don't have any gel in my hair today. I was just kind of lazy and jumped on stream, so my hair's a nightmare. Or small peepee, -pee. Well, it's a good thing I did that then. Yeah, no, so this is promising, right? This is obviously, like I said, it is a total early prototype of this destruction. This, it's going to look way cooler in the end, but it's the general gist of it. You kind of get it right. The Scarab will be able to stomp on the building. Um, now, real quick though, I do want to add some like building destruction effects, right? So this thing gets stepped on, the building crumbles, but in order to mask the fact that the building is switching between models, just like Bungie did with destroyable vehicles and stuff, I'm going to add in um, just this getting absolutely dusted, debris, sounds, etc. Is this Mombasa Streets 2.0 or more of a smaller scale like Halo 2 serve? Yeah, so this is not new Mombasa. In the skybox you see like new Mombasa. This is old Mombasa. This is old Mombasa. It's old as fuck here. Very old, very sad. Oh, let me do always on the shadow of this building. 
Save that. Okay, there we go. That looks looks a little better. Actually, yeah, now it actually has a shadow. Very nice. That that's much better. So this is this is not a map object, but a dynamic object, and it can be destroyed. Okay, let's add some effects to this. I think it would be really cool to have like a big destruction transition effect to this. I feel like it's the poorer part of town or the outskirts. Exactly. Maybe that's why they named it. Alright, let's do FX. Let's grab a we'll grab like a default FX that's kind of nice here as destruction. Um we don't want mechanical breaks. We could do concrete breaks small. Is there a big concrete break by chance? Let's just do we'll start with concrete break small. I think that'll be like a good a good starting point here. We'll go back, 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 back. And under building one, we'll add FX. And I'm gonna rename this to building destruction. So this will be the effect that plays um, when the building gets destroyed. But we actually don't want that as an attachment. We wanna put it in here under the effects, transition effect generic and specific. Let's throw that in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play this effect from the funny little thing in here I called FX Dust. That's going to be one location set to replace. We don't do that. FX Dust. All going to play from FX Dust. So here is what it does. It just it plays impact chunks, medium concrete, which I presume is like literally chunks of concrete. More chunks of concrete and then soft smoke. That's it. That's literally all it does, which I'm going to be honest is pretty boring. Let's see what that looks like at the very least. I mean, that that, <laughs> that sure was one of the effects of all time. Wow. <laughs> Incredible, really. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love it. Now, um, we have concrete chunks small. Let's do concrete chunks large, first of all. And then we have impact chunks medium concrete. What do we do? We have large impact. Impact. What the fuck was that? Impact chunks medium concrete. We have impact chunks medium. That's the that's the biggest one. There. That's the. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do the large chunks. What does that What does that do? What do we get from that? Ah. Really didn't change anything. So I'll have to basically make my own. Is what I'm, I'm what I'm seeing here. Well, the first thing that I think is going to be most important is the dust. You know, the dust here is going to need to, like, definitely be a lot bigger, and there needs to be a lot more of it. So I'm going to do the emission radius as, like, three... No, I'm going to do four world units. That's pretty huge, I'm going to be honest. And the starting count is three to five. I'm gonna do 30 to 50, to be honest. Like, it's gonna need to be a lot. It's also gonna need to be, like, sticking around in the world for a while. What about building debris objects? I will be adding some. For now, it's all gonna be fake debris, like particle particle debris. Um, let's do, like, five to eight seconds for this. And the gravity, I don't know about the gravity. Particle size, I'm gonna do two to three. Let's see how this looks like. I'm curious to know like what what this brings it to. Imagine you're in your building taking cover and you shoot your own wall. <laughs> I mean, you're not gonna be able to destroy it. Only the Scarab's gonna be able to destroy it in like the, the proper ending, the final version of this mod. So you gotta be waiting for that. Okay, I mean, that was better, sort of. The alpha on it is just like so. You know what the problem is? The problem is the particle itself is like soft smoke. It's not like thick at all. I need, I need those thick particles. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be nice and thick, juicy. Yeah, now the base map. Is it the depth fade? What is, what's going on here? Why, why does it have depth fade? Alpha is set to one, and it's got like colors and stuff. 
Let me let's run that again. Let's let's see what happens again. Let's look at it closely. Add nuke airstrike Easter egg to outskirts. Bitch, what are you smoking? Where did you come from? Where what is that? A, what? Do it. Uh no. I you know what? I actually agree with Joe. I'm gonna not do it. I'm gonna not do it. I have made up my mind. I'm feeling really brave and bold right now, and I've decided I will not do it. It just shit itself. Why did it it just shitted? Let's do, do I don't wanna do disc, do I? No, I wanna do like uh God, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the type of particle emitter that's going to make like all the dust just come out of like a giant area, which I think I want to say that's tube. No, it's not. It's a uh, impact. I think I think it's impact. Implode. I swear it was sprayer. And I don't do constant. Maybe it's like disc globe. I don't remember, dude. It's been a minute since I've messed with this stuff. Nah, because every time I do that, now it's just, with a sprayer, it doesn't listen to the emission radius value. I think what I'm looking for is debris. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I was looking for debris the whole time. Okay. But I wanted debris, but I wanted it... Like... Then what does a cone? I don't remember, dude. It's been a minute since I've messed with all these values. It came out as a fucking ring. Okay, very cool. No, I just want it to come out of like a box and a random... How hard is it? Halo, please work with me here. If it's a globe, it comes out of like the outside radius, but I want it to be like... Everywhere, you know? What do I use on the nuke, dude? I'm just going to open up the nuke. That one's got like great stuff. That's got really good stuff. What about the fake debris you see from Scarab Explosion that's sinking on the ground? Is yeah, see, that's what I'm going to use, Salami. I'm going to use exactly that. Um, which, like, there already are aspects of that in this, but they're really small, so you just can't see them. I'm only working on the dust part, but as you will see soon, um, I do be on the same wavelength as you right there. All right, the nuke effects. Where is nuke version 4? Yeah, yeah, show me... The mushroom cloud. I need to know like what the mushroom cloud does on my nuke effect because I cannot for the life of me remember. That's the old one. I can't for the life of me remember what I used for it because it was like perfect for generating a puff, a tuft of clouds. Uh, so mushroom should be it. Fireball mushroom it is using disc constant Z. Oh, right. Yeah, not helpful. Disc constant Z. I'm just gonna say fuck it, dude. Disc constant Z. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck me. Fuck everything. Yeah, well, that's pretty much what I expected to happen. And globe is like the same thing. What about implode? I'm just gonna give up and do an implosion. I'm gonna implode the whole thing. Is this so much to ask for that it just fills an area? We're gonna do tube. Congrats to me, tube enjoyer. Dude, what? Why won't it just... What about impact area? I have a good feeling about this one. I got a good feeling. It's an impact area. I lied. I didn't like that one. Not a good one. We're gonna do disc this time. I think disc is gonna be a good one. I got a good feeling, and I didn't have. I lied again. I really thought that was stupid. I don't know why I thought that might work. One of these has to work. Like one of them, it's gotta work. Like impact the area. Wait a minute. I'm I'm cooking. Hold the fuck up, I'm cooking. On the nuke, I have 
Shockwave. No, 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 no. Not, not Shockwave. Clouds? Is it Clouds? No. Shockwave Initial. Maybe that's it. Nope. Wait, maybe. Maybe. Set to uh, Disc Disc Z. Dude, you know what? I'm feeling brave. I am feeling so brave right now. Chat, let me just let me cook, man. Bro, how is there not a type of like particle emission in Halo where you just have like a fucking sphere, right? And particles just come out of all the different points in that sphere. It's like all they have is a sphere where shit comes out of the sphere on the surface of it. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm losing my mind right now. Like, I am not healthy. This is not good for me. What is going on? Please. I'm gonna need, like, a full psychiatric workup after this. Like, what's up with that? I have to do things the halo way, which means I have to do this, right? But then I gotta go to the emission radius. Then I gotta turn it down to two. Then I gotta go over here. Gotta make sure the air friction's real high. Then I gotta give it an initial velocity of, like, 5 and 10, and then that's gonna slow down the initial particles enough to form a bigger radius, but only at randomized values, like that. Wow. But the problem is, the air friction is actually way too constant, which means for each particle individually, I'm gonna need to try doing a random between, like, fucking 4 and 6, so that some of them, if I'm lucky, won't end up shooting out to that perfect radius, and then you get, like, a more evened out sphere, then another problem arises, which is that the scale, the scale isn't good enough, man. Can you believe that? That scale is disgust. I hate it. So we're going to do a little bit of that. We're going to refresh it. And I think this might actually end up looking pretty all right. It's going to be on the scale of the district multiplayer map. Oh, it's going to be way bigger than that. It's going to be, dude, district is going to be like a tiny portion of this map. Once you don't understand the vision I have for this map, once I have everything randomly generated, like, I can literally place a hundred buildings. Kind of sounds like you know what you're doing. I mean, I do a little bit. I mean, that's progress. It doesn't look good yet, but like, it's getting there. It is getting there. I mean, I like the, the big poofy dust cloud. That's pretty cool. It should last longer, and it definitely shouldn't, like, shoot out in a perfect sphere. I think that looks disgusting and stupid, but... Maybe if I just turn the air friction down a little? I don't know, maybe that'll help. That was a bit better, to be honest. Like... Hey, hey, if it makes you uh, feel any better, you're not developing Halo 2 in 2004. That's true. That is very true. Yo, Joe, thanks for the two. Much appreciated. He said, uh, rip the Halo 2 debris piles from outskirts and Metropolis. I'm definitely going to rip the... Not, I'm not going to rip them because Halo 3 already has good debris piles on, like, Foundry and Boy and stuff. Like, the there's already good human debris pile and, like, rubble and garbage and stuff that I can just, like, spam all over the map and it's no biggie. That's what uh, dust looks like on building demos, though. Yeah, it does look very similar to that. The problem is the dust is actually way too see-through. I need it to be um, very opaque. The uh, dust particle itself is kind of an issue. It's got great colors and stuff, but the actual particle does need to be better. Um, right now it has depth fade range. I don't even know what that means, to be honest. I'm just going to turn depth fade off really quick on this and see what happens. I don't know what that does. Okay, well, this the entire sphere like expands out, which is not promising. And depth fade did not seem to do anything important, so that's a bit of a shame. I will say though, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the air friction back up to not random. I'm gonna give it four, and I'm gonna have the particle initial velocity ten to one on particle random. And that should allow for the particles to move at a much more, like, less spherical, more natural rate.
Okay, that's definitely not it, but it's 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 progress. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna temporarily. I'm gonna make the scarab able to be entered from any point on the map. I just want it to um, be easy to get in. Entry radius 150 was 1.5. Right, so I'm gonna look down here. We're gonna see if this is any good. We're gonna jump. We're gonna keep jumping. Let me in. We're just jumping. I'm jumping. Still jumping. I definitely should have been able to get in by now. Oh, it's because there was something in between me and the scarab. Of course. Goals. Goals. Alright, let's try this. So, scarab here. Me, running and jumping toward the scarab. Still running, still jumping. There we go, okay. I'm curious. Let's see what happens. That didn't destroy it, somehow. I have somehow dodged this building very carefully. I have once again dodged the building. It has not taken damage. Oh, it doesn't take AoE damage yet. I forgot. Forgot to AoE damage it. My bad. Gotta set it right here. Okay, now it will take damage from Scarab Stomps. Okay, that was just a lucky... Please die. Please, please die. I know the radius on the stomp is not very big, but this is getting ridiculous. Okay, that actually just didn't do anything. Wait. Does the... Maybe my Halo 2 Scarab doesn't do damage when it stomps, actually. I never thought about this, but I... It might not actually do any damage. No, it doesn't do any damage. I totally forgot about that. I never set it up. I just kind of assumed it did because it would like land, it would like impact something, and then the physics would like freak out and they would die, but it never actually directly did damage because that would kill it. Totally forgot about that. Huh. Okay, well, I gotta fix that real quick. Whoops. Doesn't do damage on the stomp as the physics slapping shit? Yeah, I completely just like never really gave it much thought, to be honest. Um, yeah, let's, let's change that, I guess. What does it use? Step impact is my Halo 2 Scarab step impact. I will add, I guess, not a dot sound tag, but uh, tags, objects, giants, that's gear, giants, Scarab, damage, step. All right, now, now the Scarab Stomp does damage. All right, I believe, and it should do a decent amount. It should, it's more than enough to destroy this building, for sure. The building has like the equivalent of like a grunt's backpack of health. Building right now, for debug reasons, is very weak. Oh my God, it died instantly. It died from just being near the Scarab. What the fuck? That's, that's ridiculous. It was not supposed to die that easily. That was a little bit insane. Oh, you know, it's the shake radius. It has a really high shake radius, which, yeah, instantly kills the building. Awesome. Very, very cool. Uh, no, the, the, we're gonna have to make our own scarab step effect for the Halo 2 scarab. We'll do damage effects. We'll do scarab step. This will be our own here. And as much as I do want it to like do shake radius and stuff, we're gonna do uh, does not hurt owner, does not hurt friends, um, does not detonate explosives, does not force hard ping, um, radius shake radius is 17. I'm gonna do 1.7, and that's gonna stop it from like destroying buildings all across the map for now. So yeah, that should. Let's see. 
Okay, that was it was not just the shake radius. There was another radius on here. Let's see what the other one was. AOE core radius, blah blah. Shake duration. It's not forward velocity. General damage is set to collision. Maybe if I just set the AOE core radius to zero so it does like a simplified radius calculations of how the building just becomes a blob. Listen, it's it's a feature. Okay? I just want you to know that it is in fact a feature. Well, I will say it is bothering me now that the building itself, uh, the funny particles are not rendering from the distance. I need to fix that immediately. It's making me upset. I might cry even. The soft smoke. LOD out distance will be 400, 4,500. All right, I, I just want to see this thing getting destroyed all the time. Progress, progress. Keep in mind, for those of you guys who didn't hear, the, the, this is temporary work in progress, like destruction, just to see and make sure things work. This is not what the actual final destruction will look like. It's not just gonna go and be dead, you know? It's gonna like dust and debris, and, you know, it's gonna be way cooler. That's my point, that's the point I was making. Darksteel, thank you very much for the five, man. I appreciate it. He said, uh, so provided you stick around for another hour, I have something that I uh, can and will knock them socks off. So, like, literally not possible. Not thought possible on Halo 1. Well, you've interested me. I'm very interested. I'm digging the skybox in background? Well, I'm glad. Got a lot more to do in the skybox in background, but yeah, cool. It's all old. It's supposed to, It's going to be old Mombasa. It's going to be this aesthetic. With like the little roads and like all closed in. It's gonna be nice. Be pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for that five dark steel. I appreciate it. Yeah. I literally will not be able to mod without your support, so it does mean the most. Uh, what about large buildings bigger than the scarab? Is it gonna be half partially damaged? I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to make those invincible or give them detailed destruction states yet. Joe, thank you for the two. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Where is the house landing gear? I'm going to be honest with you. I have no fucking clue what you're talking Oh, house landing gear. Oh, it has landing gear, see? Look. If you notice, it's actually off the ground slightly because it doesn't just rest on the ground. It's landing gear keeps it propped up. Big point. Wait, is this, isn't this supposed to be collision? Oh, it is! Okay, I gotta get rid of that. Hold on. This is not supposed to be here. This is collision geometry. Wait, undo, undo. Okay, I'm building destroyed. Or wait, yeah. I need these gone so that the actual stairs are there on the collision. And on the render, we don't get collisions here. And on the destroyed one. Boom, better, fixed. And also, don't want them there either. Good for stepping up, not good on render models. Good on uh, physics models though. Not that this thing has a physics model yet. So that was just bothering me. And we'll re-import everything. There we go, now it's got stairs. Much better. Why is this pitch black? Like, honestly, why? I don't understand. It's just completely pitch black and I can't see anything about it. Oh well, whatever. 
Who cares? Uh, I imagine players will go hide and seek from building destruction just to take down the scarab. Yeah, I, so basically, you are going to have your goal uh, of taking down the scarab, but a lot of the game mode is going to be hide and seek, right? There will be a way to kill the scarab, but it'll be based on a timer. So eventually, you'll get it, but yeah. What kind of map is this? I mean, I kind of explained it. It's like hide and seek from a scarab in a fully destructible city. Work in progress, but yeah. That's the, the gist of it. Uh, but, with that said, I want to make this destruction effect look a little bit... a little bit nicer than, uh, than it does right now. So in order to make that... A little bit fancier, a little bit better. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it up a notch, and this is how I'm gonna do it. All right. First and foremost, uh, this part where it kind of creates this big dust wave, I am gonna give this a little bit less air friction. We'll bring it down to like two, and I'm gonna reduce the particle count down to half of this. So when I destroy it, this is actually going to be like a subtle shockwave. It's not going to be the main effect. Yeah, it's good for like a, the big lighter shockwave. Then what I'll do here though, is I'm going to duplicate this. And this is going to become like the quote unquote thicker shocked wave. Um, I could do... Is there a large directional one? Because right now this is a uh, soft smoke, small impact rock. We have a soft smoke, small impact rock. These are all dirt. I could do um, directional dirt. I could try setting that not to globe, but a sprayer. Um, not sprayer, a tube with a mission radius of two. Let's see what that looks like. I'm curious. Whoa. Okay, that's that is what that looks like. Mission angle zero to fifteen. No, mission axis angle zero to zero. Um, I don't want it coming out as a tube. Actually, I want it coming out of a sprayer. Let's try a sprayer. Sprayer should just work. Why is your starting rotation so awful? Rotation, initial rotation, zero. Um, no rotation values, which means it is due to the sprayer thing. Let's do, I think, tube constant. Mm, maybe not. Try line? Maybe line will do it. Dude, what in the ever loving fuck is happening? Starting count, whatever, whatever. Particle lifespan, whatever, whatever. Physics, whatever. Particle size, whatever. Particle alpha. Yeah, why, um. Why the fuck do it do be doing that? Needed to riddle me this shit. I am missing something extremely obvious. Something extremely obvious is staring me in the face. Blood carry, dude. <laughs> This uh, concept reminds me of the Minotaur custom game in Halo 5, running from mantises in a large maze. It will be similar, but it'll. I'm going to try to make it more cinematic and like spooky. Are you going to have the jetpack jumping as a mainstay for all Scarab mods now? No, the jetpack's just in here because I haven't removed it slash haven't finished it. It's not set to orient by velocity, is it? No, I don't think it is.
I'm missing something critical. What am I missing? Okay, good, but also still randomized rotation for some reason. What about constant, maybe? I'm just like trying to investigate. I want to know, is it because it has rotational friction? Should I set that to like zero? Is it because it has some kind of rotation values that I should know about? Because it definitely doesn't. It doesn't have any of those actually. It's completely normal. Instead of a scarab, just make it a large Freddy Fazballs animatronic. God, that's such an amazing take. I'm so glad that you decided to type that into the chat. Any environment independent of camera mode? Yeah, nothing here screams like it's causing any kind of issue. I could try impact area. Good news, guys. I don't care anymore, so we can just get rid of this effect. And instead, I can do this, duplicate it again, and we'll get started with Another dust part that shoots up and out. This one is going to be inside the dust, which means the sort bias is going to be minus one. And we're not going to use soft smoke. We're going to go FX particles. Atmospheric, soft smoke. I, I think I'm actually gonna do rolling smoke for this. And I'm gonna do rolling smoke large as the particle. We're gonna see what happens here. This is gonna look a little weird, but we'll try it. Okay, actually very promising for building destruction, but completely missing the mark on a lot of other things here. Uh, for one, I don't want it to emit as a globe. I would much rather it emit in like a tube style. Let's make it a lot smaller. Let's see. Uh, they're too opaque. I think they could definitely use a bit more alpha value. Let's see. Alpha. Let's cut it in half. I'm just going to straight up cut it all these alpha values in half and see what happens. Whoops. Um, honestly, just too big still. I need to, I want to reduce their size. Mission scale. Do 1.5 to 1. Maybe, maybe that'll look good. That's kind of cool, but like, yeah, it's definitely going to need... You know, emission angle, let's let's do emission angle zero. Oh, it is zero to fifteen. Let's do zero to like forty-five. That should that should help. <laughs> Yo, at tonight! Good to see you, man. Thank you so much for the tenor. Really appreciate that. Okay, that actually did help. Thank you very much though. He said, hope you're doing well. I am doing well, actually. I'm having a great day today. I'm excited, you know, viewers are back up a little bit. I got a video I'm working on later tonight. It's gonna be good. Got a lot of Halo stuff going on. Things look good as always, making me nostalgic. Those Halo 2 new Mombasa levels are what got me interested in Halo mods. Moving to playing a lot of Halo Custom Edition. I mean, a lot of that's the same for me. Some of my favorite Halo Custom Edition mods were like new Mombasa style uh, maps. I thought they were just really fucking cool. It was just very rare to find like a good new Mombasa map, but every time you found one, it was like, oh, no way. Like it felt like it was the bleeding edge of Halo Custom Edition, kind of. At least that's how I felt about it. It's like, oh, they got like the Halo 2 stuff. No way, it's like the new.
So, I don't know if you can relate, but that's definitely how I felt about a lot of stuff. Chronopolis? Yes! Holy shit! Chronopolis was a cool one. It was a very, very cool one. Have you seen a building being destroyed by a scarab? A genuine question? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, hold on, I need to set that emission initial velocity down to one minimum. Alright. Let's see. It doesn't look great yet. <laughs> at all. Joe, thank you so much for the $2 tip. Much appreciated. All right, here we go. Joe is RPing as Goku again, guys. Joe the Assassin once again RPing as Goku. All right, what do you say? Hey, it's me, Goku. Your buildings seem pretty weak. You should get back to training. <laughs> Wakes up when you're back up to full strength. Let's have a sparring match. I hate it here. I, that fucking, god damn it. They, I think they all are just... And you know, I respect this. I do respect this, but y'all are gay for Goku. And like, more power to you, but also, it's time that you came to admit this. I think the dust wave, the smaller dust wave, should definitely be bigger. You get some rebar in that debris. We need some rebar. Yeah, I agree. Rebar is very good for debris. This is a prototype right now. I am just literally prototyping the destruction that I'm going to use for all the other buildings. That building literally just detonated. Which was pretty cool, to be honest. I, I actually have no complaints about that fact. Alright, let's do... Let's see this. You said you're Vegeta? So I'm told. So I'm told. Yes, actually. I am, in fact, a Vegeta. Dude, that building actually just detonated. That was kind of cool. Like, from a different angle and a different sunlight. Like, look at this. Uh oh no more building. Okay, honestly, that was kind of a bad angle. Let's try it from, like, over here. Oh, facing away from the sun. It kind of does look like... Like, obviously, it needs a lot more going on. But that's kind of a solid baseline for this building destruction. I think what I need to do is reposition some of the particles, though. Because right now it's all emitting from a single point at the bottom. I think it'd be nicer if it was, like, the middle of the building or, like, the top half where it actually disappears is where most of the particles come from. Oh, let me do a continues. I, I don't know if you guys noticed that. Particles continue as usual when off screen. Yes, please. So now I can look away and it'll still be getting destroyed. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's not bad, though. That feels very building demolition-y. And it's not, like, super, super unoptimized. I wonder what it's like being near it when it blows up. Obviously, it, there's no sounds or screen shake or anything yet, but... What would be a good <laughs> sound for this? This definitely needs a sound effect. Joe, thanks for the $2 tip, man. Appreciate it. Wow. You know, I don't, I don't actually don't have to read those messages. I don't know if you knew that. I can just ignore messages. That's crazy. This guy is insane. He's literally cracked. Rubble bridge collapse. I need something big. I could do... I could. Hear me out, guys. Come on, read this time. Hold on. Pause. Shut your trap. Silenced. No, but for real. I could rip some of the building destruction sounds from Halo Reach. Hold on. Do we have a rock? Okay, sure. That's fine. It's totally fine. Phantom destroyed, fusion coil destroyed, brute form body destroyed, flood, flesh destroyed, large six. 
Nice. I'm so glad that I did that. These are some loud fucking sounds. Hilo Reach has goaded sound design. Well, it also just has building destruction sounds, although they're a little bit intense. To be honest, they're just a bit, just a bit intense. Let's try it though. Let's see. Open um, Hilo Reach sounds. Let's do building. I think it's called like building. Explosion building one. They're very distant. So this is the classic collapsing building sound that I was using in the Godzilla mod for a long time. The problem is these buildings that we're looking at now are way smaller and are definitely not skyscrapers. So hearing that sound would be way overkill. So I'm gonna try some like rubble sounds that are oops sorry, I'm gonna try some rubble sounds that are already in the game. What the fuck is concrete looping? What kind of looping sound does concrete make? Okay, well let's it, help me find some of this. New Alexander has plenty of building destruction sounds. I mean, that's what I was just listening to, but honestly, the building destruction is way too large in scale on that. These buildings are a lot smaller. I might... I might just get some other custom sounds not from Halo for this. I think it might be the move. Oh, you know what? I thought I was thinking of a sound from Halo, but it was actually a sound from Half-Life 2 of, like, concrete destruction that I might be able to use. Want to rip sounds from Half-Life 2? It's funny you said that, because I literally was just thinking about that. But, I don't know. Let's try this. Hold on, wait. What does this sound like? I think this is not it. That was just kind of an explosion. Yeah, that's not a building collapsing. Catherlin with the 10 months! Thank you very much for your continued support on the channel here. I appreciate it. What, 10 months? It's been a long time. Also, Exploded House is neat. Thank you. It's very early. Uh, very, very much work in progress. It's gonna look a lot cooler soon. Try Halo 3 ODST if I'm correct. I don't know when the space elevator is destroyed. Oh, you're so right, actually. You're so right. Okay, that was just literally nothing. But no, you're absolutely right. I should check out Halo 3 ODST. I'd bet money on the fact that that has a ton of great sound effects. Uh, here. All right, I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up. I'm going to use the restroom super quickly. Give me uh, 30 seconds. Let me back and we can get some more sound effects.
I have returned. Rolls need some badass destruction sounds. Yo, Dark Steel, thank you for the two. Check your Discord with the hot stuff. Trademark. I'm eating a croissant right now. It's very cool. How did that not scare me? I actually wonder that because that was loud as hell. Where is my music, dude? Why am I playing like the fucking quietest Halo soundtrack? I need to not have these shitty quiet soundtracks on my Spotify. They're so bad. I'm just gonna redo my Spotify tonight. I can't I can't live like this anymore. Let's listen to some explosions. That one was okay. What was that? What did I just hear? Why did it do that? That is the sound of a flood carrier walking. Oh, those are the worst sounds of all time. Hey, fatty, get out of here. It's my food. Nah, -uh, we don't listen to that sound ever again. I don't know what the hell that was. Halo 3 large explosion is just kind of mid, to be honest. Medium distant explosion are okay. These are all just really mid, to be honest. None of these have any the oomph I need from a collapsing, exploding building. Wait. As I say that. Rule, stop being fucking... I love you, Weasel. I really, I love you so much, but you're over here just to lick the butter off my fingers. You're nasty. And nasty. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. Nothing is coming anywhere close to that bridge uh, collapse sound. That's just it. That was the that was the one. Flawless, dude. That's perfect. Are you kidding me? It doesn't get any better than that. Oni Bridge EXPL. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'm going to get that in the game real quick. Okay, we got the sound and throw it into Audacity. Uh, 48,000. Let's listen to it in here with a lower volume. Bro, that's, that's just good. It's period. This is good. All right, I'm going to export that. This will be... Uh... Actually, I don't think... I don't think I need to export it. I think it's actually just fine. I can probably just put it in the game. Uh, beta. Sound. Levels, custom, Ma uh, war of Mombasa, building, destruction, oh no wait, I can just put it in here, 
This will be building EXPL. Then I gotta close everything, which is actually fine though, because it's really quick to load this map up. Not a big deal. Do tool, sound, single, and then I'm gonna copy this directory because I am not typing all that shit out. Uh, tool, sound, single, and then it's building expl.wave. And then the type is, I'm just gonna do vehicle animation because fuck it. And then the bank is the sound bank. What, should, what sound bank should this be? Yo, Red Steve, relax, bruh. Chill. Chill! We're gonna do, uh... War of Mombasa. Wow. Alright, it's in! Let's go, baby! Let's throw that in there. Let's throw it in. We're gonna... This, is, this should sound actually pretty dope. Uh, I, have a, I have a pretty good feeling about this. Yeah, right now we're using uh, big explosions. We're gonna swap that out for sound. Where's green? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm sure he's around doing important. He's probably working on school stuff, if I had to guess. He do be doing important work. Call upon the power of the Mott. Well, uh, your mom. I gain base. I'm gonna set that to like positive three. I'm gonna turn this volume up. It's gonna be a loud fucking sound. That was pretty good to be honest. Like I can't complain about that. That was not bad. But I think it was too quiet. Yeah, that was better. That's progress. I do think it needs some screen shake though. Let's put some screen shake on here. We'll throw a duplicate, grab a tag. Let's go objects, vehicles. Uh, <clears throat> I liked the stream. You know, Red Steve, I appreciate that. You might be typing a little bit too much for comfort, but I think that you liking the stream is extremely based and everybody should do that. Everybody, if everybody liked the stream, there would be world peace. World peace would be probably achieved. And I, I think you're a trendsetter, honestly. Good on you. RJ is casually ignoring the possibility of restored Halo 1 and Halo 3 credits, SMH. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I forgot and then I went to the bathroom. I feel like the poof is too big, you have so many buildings getting got. We'll see, it might be. Very well could be. Hold on, where's my Super Mantis? FX, uh, where's my screen shake? Where did I put that? I think damage, no, it wouldn't be under here. It would be under damage max? Step impact? Don't want it to actually do damage. Is that Hokey Pokey with the 16 months of membership? Thank you very much for your continued membership. I appreciate it. Hashtag blow shit up. Hashtag custom sounds. Hashtag Halo 2 Scarab is too low poly. All true statements. But my Halo 2 Scarab is not too low poly, I'll have you know. I I used a magical technique, I up it, okay? You don't even, you just don't even know, okay? You just don't, you just wouldn't get it, you just had to be there. Okay, unironically, and in actuality, I do not know where I put this. But you know, I do, ha I do have, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, you're so right. Uh, where is it? Screen shake exists in the nuke. Here it is. Nuke screen shake. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so I'm going to take that under objects, levels, custom, or Mombasa. Like the stream now or get open edged. Yeah, you don't want, you don't want to get open edged. That's, that's fucking terrifying. Oh! I'm dead. Uh, I put the wrong thing in the wrong place. Objects, vehicles, longsword, H2A. 
Weapon, nuke, FX. We have explosion, nuke, damage, response, definition, and nuke, screen shake, damage, response, definition. I need nuke, screen shake, damage, effect. There we go. Uh, objects, levels, multi, set, 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 set. Custom or Mombasa building, FX, building, screen shake. Copy that, go here, damage, effects, save that, open that, now we finally get it. Radius, 5,000? No, how about just like, I don't know, 50 is fine, honestly. And uh, AoE spike radius? Yeah, no. Zero damage. Uh, AI stun radius, who cares? Shake radius is set to zero, I don't... What? Whatever, who cares? If it worked at some point, it'll work now. Said me just now. Hoping for the best. All right, let's see what happens. Do we get screen shake when we blow it up now? I went through all that hell on the off chance that we're gonna get working screen shake for this. Let's see. Yes, actually, we do get screen shake. Not bad, actually. It's starting to feel a little bit more impactful. Scarab comes by here. Building immediately just gets dusted. I'm gonna try one thing though. Uh, on my rolling smoke large, I am in fact gonna go one. I'm gonna bring it back to one. And I'm gonna have it very quickly go down to 0 0.5 after appearing, just so that I can hopefully mask the destruction of the building a little bit better. The whole game's gonna be shaken. Yeah, I'm gonna reduce the length at which it like it shakes for. It's feeling a little bit more impressive though, I will say. It's getting there. We're getting some more of the effect, kind of pulling it all together. It's getting there, it do be getting there. I do want to take that shake though down a, a touch. It really just plays for way too long. I think the length, the uh, motion blur, screen flash, whatever, who cares. Uh, Rumbles, fine. Camera shake duration, let's cut that in half. Like, that's pretty crazy. Eight seconds is a long fucking time. And the distance on that goes kind of crazy, too. Like, that building actually just evaporated, dude. Okay, now the screen shake just isn't playing. It does feel a little bit better. I will say it's masking the... Uh, it's not perfect. The dust definitely should be coming like from up high. Up higher, I should say. But it's helping. It's helping mask the uh, building getting like disappeared a little bit. If the Scarab was able to successfully stomp on this without accidentally destroying every single building on the map at the same time, that would be pretty cool. I can't do that, but it could in the future. Let's take our one destroyable building. You love Debris and Darkness too, so honestly it's looking great. I'll, I'll use... So, Alright, this is probably going to destroy every, every building at the same time, but whatever. Yeah. It, it sure did. <laughs> For whatever reason. Uh, let me check my my scrab out. This is this is now a scarab issue, and this scarab does need to be doing damage at a very reasonable rate because right now whatever it's doing when it stomps is not it. Me destroying the entire neighborhood in one femtosecond. God damn. But the only thing it has is the step impact effect, which I guess. As particles, footsteps, scarab, decal system, that part is totally fine. It's the sounds and damage here. We have the sound of the scarab step, which is totally good, and then we have the scarab step and damage effect, which is less good, because it's radius. Should be fine. Category plasma? 
How about just like, no. Its type is collision damage, it has a 1.7 shake radius. Um, it has this damage response of land shake. Everything on this should, like, theoretically be fine. Um... Forty to eighty damage, sure, sure, who cares, but... Maybe I need to just swap out this damage effect for a different one or something. Uh, maybe... Taco Bell makes me constipated. Hey, I'm proud of you. You know, it takes a lot of guts to admit that, alright? It's pretty tough. Now let's see here, if I do, let me try the Mega Mantis. The Super Mantis damage effect. Then Scarab, uh, no, you know, I'll do landing impact uh, here. Scarab H2. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a stroke trying to figure this shit out. Right there. Landing impact. Try that. See if it still obliterates everything. Because this actually could be not a scarab issue, but a uh, an issue with the buildings themselves. It could be just like the physics model. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta be, it's a bounding radius thing. That's what it is. It was actually, the scarab thingy was fine. It was actually totally fine. It was a bounding radius thing. False alarm. False alarm, it's fine. The, um, the buildings themselves just had like a like, fucking enormous bounding radius. All right, let's see what it looks like in game. Oh yeah, no wonder. Add like two on the Z axis, would that help? Yeah, that that should do it. Alright, now the scarab should have a fine time stomping away at all these buildings. Let's see. We're gonna give it a try. How much damage from that stomp? Uh, right now, it just does the regular Halo 3 amount, which is enough to, like, take, da take down your shields, I think, or, like, deal shield damage. Eventually, though, it'll be an insta-kill. Straight up. Alright, let's see with uh, our test buildings here how this looks. Kinda cool, man. It's not perfect by any means, but it's pretty cool. Wonder if we can step on this one building right here. Am I gonna balance the beam? Honestly, a good question. The the one thing I've thought about as far as balancing the beam is uh, just giving it a really absurd time in between firing. Like giving like a heat, like an overheat that takes forever. I don't think you're gonna be able oh! to balance it. God, you scared the shit out of me, you're such an asshole. God damn it, my heart. Scary. Hey chat. Now what do you think? What do you think of this? I'm prototyping what? building destruction. Okay. How long have you been sitting there? The whole time. Oh wow. I've literally been here the whole time. Guys, this is not a vape. This is a mint stick. It doesn't blow air out. You just breathe in mint flavor. Actually, let me hit that. That's very nice. He's quit vaping. Can we get a clap in chat? It's been like two weeks since he vaped. It has. Also, I'm in my pajamas. I got banned. 
been a week. Uh, I'm like a divorced dad this week. I've just been gaming. Dude, a lot. I I literally go downstairs and she's like curled into a ball in this like relaxing like hammock style circle chair and she literally just plays video games on her PC for like 15 hours a day, dude. It's actually hilarious. I'm like a divorced dad right now. It's so funny. Yeah. So I'm just wearing pajamas all the time. I mean, this is what you should do. When you get banned off Twitch, you, what you're doing is the right move. Look at all those hands. The claps. Yeah, they're clapping for you. No, because you quit. Oh, right. Yeah. Now I just suffer 24-7, which is totally fine. But you're doing great. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I really want to vape anymore. Like, the urges aren't there. I'm just angry all the time. How did that survive? Those are actually crush buildings. That's what I'm working on right now. I want to give it the ability to crush buildings. Oh man, it'd be like Godzilla. It'd be so fun. I know. So I originally, fun. this idea was a Godzilla mod. But I'm prototype. This is really early, basic, like, poo-poo looking destruction. But I want to make it look really detailed and fancy in the future. I think that would go hard. Yeah. No, actually. we're getting banned. That's extremely unsurprising. <laughs> okay, first off, no. That's all I have to say. <laughs> A good defense. Solid defense. Vaping may be popular, but it doesn't look good in my opinion. No offense for anyone that vapes. I mean, it's just unhealthy. It's just really unhealthy, that's all. Well, this is kind of fun, though, because it's like, I feel like I'm inhaling gum. Yeah, it's kind of like gum. It makes your breath a little so nicer. Minty. Oh god, just hearing you do that and not knowing that you're not vaping though is kind of like giving me that feeling. Sorry. No, it's not your fault. You just gotta get past when you go out and people are vaping around you. Once you can get past that, you'll be good. That's the hardest. Who actually loves women? No, every girl is banned right now and they're unfairly banning all of us. We do anything and it's banned. Banned for a week. Indefinite ban. Every time. They just do not like bikini streamers at all anymore. It's really sad. Get that woman some clothes. Bitch! The fuck you think I'm wearing? She's wearing a t-shirt, dog. I'm not in my work uniform. Ban, ban, ban. Oh, Sounds like a back. skill issue? No, it's just Twitch right now. They didn't change the TOS, but they changed how they moderate without telling anybody. They demonetized all of us without saying anything. It's official now, but they haven't announced it still. So. It is very sad. And it's not the sexual themes category. It's if you're in the hot tub category at all, you were demonetized. And they didn't announce it. No. Which, like, technically they don't have to because they're a private business, but it's a bad look for them. Yeah, you should announce that. Like, imagine if Halo was just demonetized, but they didn't tell you at all, and you found out a month later checking your analytics. Actually, Halo does something really bad like that, which is uh, the music, which is supposed to be copyright free, they just don't moderate it, and so a bunch of people on YouTube have claimed it as their own music, and they steal money if you use YouTube or if you use Halo music. Can you really call a bikini a work uniform? Yes! Absolutely, bro! That is literally my uniform. Bro literally has never heard of models in his life. He's never heard of models modeling. It's a job. I get paid, so therefore it is my work uniform and this is my divorced dad aesthetic man like i fucking dogs out Ugh, don't feet. put your you nasty <laughs> put your feet in my face you grab them two times today you like it you're gross i don't grab feet often <laughs> <laughs> good save good save i was about to be like <laughs> actually <laughs> you're so dumb what were you saying earlier that you might be gaslighting yourself and having a foot fetish because you grab my feet so much. I was joking. Why do you have to come up on stream and you're like, oh, I know what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take something out of context and I'm going to tell Drake's stream and they're all going to hear some weird shit because Drake says weird shit all day long and I'm going to make them think that he thinks certain things. Like, you suck my nuts, bro. I don't lie. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I refuse to call a swimsuit a work uniform, okay? But I make money in it, so what do you call that? Yeah, if you make money off of something, that actually makes you a professional, yeah, by I'm the way. Yeah, I'm a professional bikini model, actually. You're not wrong. <laughs> Meanwhile, me looking like I'm homeless right now. <laughs> I'm like, please, just let me have a puff. <laughs> please, please. Let me take my what, kratom please. and crate out. <laughs> I'm gonna go crate the fuck out, dude. Oh my god, you're scary. He's an average foot fetish man? That's so true. I'm not a foot fetish fan, actually, at all. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a connoisseur. 
an enjoyer. And yeah, a but consumer. I'm but I'm not though. So that that's where the problem arises is that I am not one. Well, you're the only one touching my feet, so. Bro, you're putting your feet in my face, so obviously I'm gonna grab them. Not okay. All the time. I joined chat in this. This no is commentary happening. commentary on the uncomfortable subject. I apologize deeply to you, Falcon. I'm sorry this conversation has gone off the rails. I'll let you get back to your very engaging um, modding session or whatever. Why did you say modding session? Like, it low key sounds like a gooning session or something. Like, that's, <laughs> like what do you. Why did you say it like that? It's a modding gooning? session. You guys gooning right now when you play this? No, my chat actually, unironically, there's a, an emote as a reference to. Uh, like when when like your 3D model is bad, you get a red arrow that says open edge. And yeah. everyone in my chat now is like, oh, I'm open edging right now. I'm open edging. Are you guys weird? They are weird. They're weird as fuck. I'm the I mean, weird I'm weird one. too, so. I'm the weird one, chat. Okay. At least I'm not edging the Halo. Hey, if there was something worth edging to, it would be Halo, okay? Just, I'm just going to say that. I right, will say, I kind of get it now, though, because, like, when I saw the night of the Brotherhood in the Fallout show, oh man, I was like, I get the Halo suit. It makes sense. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. I feel like, what are you? The in the Fallout Master Chief's show, armor? You thought you thought the armor was you know, hot in I, the Fallout show? Yeah, and like I get why people sexualize Master Chief because like anyone could be in that armor, you know, with the deep voice. Oh my god, I, we like were. King. We were watching the Fallout show. I, I don't know if I should spoil it, actually. I don't, I, it's a really good show. I don't want to spoil anything for it. Never mind. I'm not going to drop that it's one. It's first episode. It's fine. Is it? it we episode? just it were like hoping the masked character was a girl the entire time. Like, we were banking on it. We were like, that has to be a girl. Dude, and then a the, bad the Brotherhood of Steel out. Knight. I was like, please let it be a hot girl. Please let Titus be a hot girl. Oh, God. I was doing... so sure. The way he was carrying himself. I'm like... A chick is gonna open that, it's gonna be so hot, and that's gonna be a spoiler, like, a huge plot twist. No, just a fucking guy. It makes sense for the plot of the show, I mean, they are a brotherhood after all. I was just like, was they have the voice, deep voice modulator and all that stuff going on, I was like, it's the perfect thing to do to mask the fact that you expect it to be a dude, but it's a plot twist, it's a hot girl under there, but nope. It was just a dude. It was just some it dude. It was just a dude. Just a dude. And I was like, damn it, she could have. It could have been this really hot been. girl in the armor. It's like when you find out Samus is this hot girl in a skin tight fucking blue suit. Whoa, you're like, fuck! Spoilers. Now I don't have to play the game. <laughs> yeah, don't play Metroid. That's crazy. You don't have to play Metroid. I actually just spoiled the entire oh my series God. for you. You ruined the entire thing for you're me. You're welcome. Stupid. You just spoiled the fact that someone in the Brotherhood was a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's get Big fought. Spoiler. Huge spoilers. Get fucking dunked on. It was us that was clowning ourselves, really. It was optimistic hope. Anyways, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. He streams frequently. You don't want to miss this engaging content. You don't want to miss this incredible content, guys. Be sure to leave a like on the stream immediately. You're going to get the most Halo content on your timeline. A new video coming out very soon, maybe tomorrow. It's going to be epic, guys. Hit that bell notification and the like button. I always like his streams. It recommends Halo modding to me. Really weird. But I do like it anyways to support. See, she's a real one for that. That could be you, chat. Guy that quit vaping. So. You, that could be you. I quit vaping for you, chat. Yeah, he did. He said he fought back because he's been mean to you guys a lot. So he quit vaping. Yeah. He did it for you guys. He did it for you. It's actually the opposite of that. You Literally, it's the complete opposite of what you just said. But that's it. But we too. can go with it. You just vape. It's not a vape. It's not a vape. It's an air tube. It's it called. It doesn't even have electronics. It's just wood. If you've watched YouTube videos in the past month, you know what this is. It has been advertised on YouTube videos. It's a fume. I like that he got paint sniffing flavor. It really makes me feel like I'm huffing paint. There's also gasoline flavor if you want to have the immersion you're at a gas station. I have YouTube Premium? Bro, you're so dumb for that. I'm talking about sponsorships. <laughs> and if you're feeling really crazy, there's the weed flavor. No, it's literally just air. You breathe in, and like it's just air, but there's like this little minty thing on the inside, so the air is like mint flavored. That was all a joke. It's just mint. Though I will, I should pitch those ideas. Though those are pretty solid. So it's vaping, but it's not. No, it's breathing air. It's breathing flavored air. It literally sucks. It's so not vaping. I hate this thing. It's Nothing just. Comes out. It's breathing air. There's Humigation? Essentially. I do think they should make a paint, or maybe an asbestos flavor. That'd be good. Chemical air, just air. Literally just air. 
It's like the equivalent of chewing gum and then being like, yeah, that's like chewing gum and being like, yeah, it's actually releasing chemicals, which is why minty gum makes your mouth feel minty. Like, no. Yeah, gum is chemicals too, though. Pretty sure. I mean, probably. That's the only way everything's that Everything's chemicals sense. and everything's going to give us cancer and at least you're not oh, Technically, anymore. every substance is actually chemicals. Every, in the whole universe, it's all just chemicals. Bring these nuts across your face. You stole my line. You can't <laughs> steal that. I'm just gonna say it. Look at this dragon. Drag these nuts across your face. Oh, you're so funny. I just said that though. You're copying Literally me. Literally stole it for me though. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like a 3D printed dragon. We are at Ren Fair and the girl was like, oh, these are illegal. You can't buy them. And then I went on Amazon and found a pack. <laughs> Wrong. But look at the. Darksteel's right. What Vaping is changes. for pussies. Smoke black tar heroin. Real. It's both colors. It just no, this is colors. really cool. It, it is like, actually, it changes color and it looks really dope. But it just depends on the lighting. Unfunny woman reused joke. He reused it from me. And his sister was like, got him when I said it. And then he just took that joke. That's so rude. I didn't steal joke. I don't know what you're talking about. You're schizo right now. Also, it didn't hit because I didn't show the I'm not even live right now. Who are Proof you talking to? Proof of what? Proof of what? Chat, I'm not even live right now. Who is she talking to? Are you a I think she's schizo. Am I a scaly? Yeah. Why would you even ask me that? Yeah, <laughs> of course I am. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> of course I am, obviously. Reduce, reuse your cycle. Free tacos, exclamation mark one. Declaim your free taco. I'm going to leave. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yes, scared taco bot off again. We almost got free tacos today. You always do this. Beep boop. I have a nuke. I actually wonder what it would look like if I shot a nuke on this map. Like every building would obviously like explode instantly, which is pretty cool. Maybe the shockwave. I don't know if the shockwave does damage though. So it might not actually break down buildings. I want to try it anyway. Fuck it. I'm working on a Unity game where you do parkour. That's pretty cool. It's dope. I like parkour. It's a lot of. It's very satisfying. Very fun. Like you slide and jump and stuff. That's cool. If your scarab could talk, her voice would be its voice. Dude, if a scarab talked to me, my roommate's voice, that'd be scary as fuck. I'm gonna be honest. You just see this giant, like, ominous figure, like, bah, bah, like, walking in front of you, and it's just like, um, actually, he quit vaping. Like, that's terrifying, dude. What the fuck? That's so scary. Don't spook me like that. I'm putting down the nuke launcher. Let's see what happens if I fire this in the in the map. Let's fire it all the way over there. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, this map is a lot smaller than I thought it was. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fire this nuke without actually just killing my own person. Well, actually, the map does fit a nuke, like one single nuke, but it does fit the nuke. That's pretty cool. I will say the bloom looks really good on the nuke in this map. That's pretty dope. I'm getting some, some Modern Warfare 2 vibes out of it. That's some good shit right there. No, I, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Like, it's, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty neat. Uh, my only complaint right now with these buildings is that they don't have any good, like, solid baked lighting. Like, the lighting of the map here makes it look really good because it gets really dark on the insides, which adds a lot of depth to it. But you lose that when there are objects like this, which is kind of sad. Core rejected with the four months. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. So guess what? Chicken butt. Whoa! Whoa! You're freaking me out, Core Rejected. You're acting a little bit too wild right now. You tricked me with that. You're scaring me. Think about the children. Wait, I just realized by reducing the bounding radius on this building... 
I reduced its ability to like have detailed shadows. And they look way better with detailed shadows. Wait, what? Why does that happen? Wait, what if I do, like, 15? What is that? What the fuck? 150? Oh! Oh, the bounding radius controls, like, the size of the shadow. Well, I'll be gosh darned. I wonder if setting the bounding radius like that has any effect on uh, the render model. That would be interesting. Let's try that. No, I guess not. Very sad. Before I go back to vomiting on sound effects and timing and shit, I'll say one last time to check them. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I did say I was going to check it. Let me see this. What's going on? What is this? Um... Theoretically, this is what Darksteel said. Theoretically, one could remake the Halo 1 credits and Halo 3 credits with this stuff, as this does not use Bink in any sort of way. Halo 2 credits is a bit iffy, however. What is this? Hold on. Okay, why are we here? Flash wall, okay, okay, it's just a video of you typing and loading. Wait, what is this? This is not with Bink? How are you rendering a video in Halo? What are you doing for this? The tip bar blocks out the command? Oh yeah. Wait, that's not a Bink file. Was it just a single image coming on screen? Did you just render these as like bitmaps, like cutscenes, and then fade in from black? I mean, I figure that's what you're doing. This looks like a, a plane and like a bitmap, and then you like fade in cutscene style, and then fade out, and then you like spawn your player in. Red versus blue is incredibly mid. That's an incredibly mid take. And you should feel bad about it. Ooh. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I think I should do here is see if I can't up the bounding radius on these without making them take damage. Because I don't know why bounding radius seems to be tied to AoE damage. It's kind of annoying. Very annoying, in fact. But I think it's just because I have a really shitty, like, physics object uh, for this. Let me try this real quick. I'm gonna do, um... I'm gonna hide all these. I'm gonna delete the collision model. I'm gonna convex hole this. I'm gonna convex the hole the fuck out of that. We're gonna do that. And make sure that all of our vertices are merged. Okay, they're good. I'm gonna set everything on here to concrete two. And then I'm gonna duplicate that. And this is gonna become the new collision model. And then... And make sure that all our new vertices are attached to the right region here. And actually, while we're here, I'm going to make another... I'm going to do FX Dust Big. I'm going to move that up, and then I can use that on the destruction effect to hopefully make it look a little bit nicer. Alright, let's export this. Let's give this a try. This should, this should help with uh, not only the destruction, but also theoretically with the... Um, shadows and the shading on it. Alright, let's, uh, I don't want step impact, step damage, don't care. Open the model, I want to re-bulk import all of that stuff, and then on the effect, I want to run a second marker, which is FX dust, was it big or main, what did I call it? FX dust big, I duplicate, I call it FX dust big, and then on the on the rolling smoke large, we're gonna put that on FX dust big instead of the regular FX dust. And then in game, go to crates. I should be able to increase the scale and size of the bounding radius, which would allow me to get nicer, softer, 
more detailed and darker shadows. Let's do that. Bounding radius, I can just up it to 11, which then gives it a nice darker shading. The engine just kind of kicks in to high gear on that. And I don't know, I hope that just works. I hope that the stupid bounding radius thing doesn't break stuff. Probably will though, because I'm not so lucky. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, I did it again. Okay, what's the smallest I can get the bounding radius before the shadows start looking bad? All right, let's find out. So we were at five, let's do five. Five looks bad, six. Six is good. Six starts casting shadows on itself. Five does not. Six does. Does seven look any better? Seven gets the entirety. Oh, wait, I think I get it now. Eight looks even better. Nine looks, okay, I think six is the best I'm gonna get. This thing is just going to carve a path of destruction through the city in like no time at all. Uh, let's see. Is there anything I could do to reduce the impact of where it's stepping. I suppose I could... Ooh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea to actually... that might help here. I could just raise up the bounding radius, like, a lot. That might help, actually. That might, like... Because the point of impact for the scarab is the ground. So if I raise that up and I make it so the point of the bounding radius that's impacting the ground is actually smaller... And most of the bounding radius is up high. It actually works better. Not bad. I will say that's extremely satisfying. These look like Call of Duty 2 homes. I mean, yeah, these are African or like Middle Eastern homes. Okay, well the shadow is now rendering badly again. Which I'm not happy about. Oh, you know what? It's because... It's because of this, isn't it? Yep. Oh, dude, this bounding radius stuff sucks! It sucks really bad! Actually, wait, at 4.5, I can still have it looking good. What? It's because it was offset, wasn't it? Oh, but I can't have it be offset. Otherwise, it'll disappear when I look up like that. 4.5 with 2, which kills the shadows. Nice. Really as good as I can get it, I think. What about five point five? What if I give it one, one unit more? I'm not gonna lie, that makes them really big. That's an extremely large radius. You should let the scarabs stand on the buildings on first pass, but when it goes over the buildings again, it destroys them. Or is that too much for this? Unfortunately, it's not possible. The only things that a scarab can actually stand on is stuff that's built into the map. Like in Blender, like this version of the building here, for example, is built into Blender. It's all light baked and light mapped and stuff. Um, yeah, can't can't do it anyway except that. All right, let's see how bad how bad of a an effect is this. 
Yeah, it's just a bit too much. I really just want these to have nice shading, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have that. I'm going to have to get... I'm going to have to be a little tricky with it. But for now, I suppose this is alright. You know, the destruction is decent. And I have another building over here, which is primed and ready for me to, like, make a little interior for it. This is kind of nice, at least. Like, you can walk in here and be like, oh, you can't walk in. I haven't made the physics model. But you will be able to walk in there and be like, oh, wow, look at that. This is a building. And that'll be fun. It'll be a good time. Can you download some of your finished maps on Xbox? No, unfortunately there's no no mod support on Xbox, sorry to say. Yeah, I, I think streams are just slow today. I really need to get a video out. I think I'm going to uh, end stream early tonight so that I just have more time to work on the video since it's a bit slow right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to hop off for, for the night so I can get some work done on the video. If stream is a little bit popping tonight I would consider it but yeah I just really need to get that video out so I want to shout out thank you guys so much for the support thank you Joe for the two dollar tip I appreciate that thank you very much and the Halo Reach SFX FSB have you listened to Saber Destroyed 1, 2, and 3 uh, that was extremely specific probably not I can't even listen to it I, I know I've definitely listened in game to those sounds many times as I've heard them explode here we'll listen to Saber before I go Saber destroyed one. That's yeah, pretty good. Those are pretty good, honestly. I think I like this one a bit more. But that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna head out though. Thank you guys so much for the little bits of support today. I appreciate it. I'm gonna head out, uh, like I said, and get some work done on uh, my next video, which. Uh, it's uh, long overdue. I'll probably be working on... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. Some kind of Halo modding. Maybe this. Maybe something else. We'll see. But anyway. Thanks for being here, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.